Kennedy. Angela Watt from Oxford, Michigan, about to face one of the biggest challenges of her life. She's got two lifelines left and still eight questions away from winning $1 million. But Angela is the mother of twin boys, so surely she can handle anything. Find out and cheer her on as the return of Billionaire to prime time continues. Okay, we last saw Angela Watt last night, as a matter of fact. How much money were you up to last night? I won 4000 last $4, night. $4,000. All right, fine. Anyway, it's nice to see you again. Thank you. And, you know, I've been learning a little bit more about uh, you and your lifestyle. <laughs> and uh, you're a frisky one. <laughs> it might surprise some people to know it. Absolutely. I come across like a mild-mannered mom. But well, I that's got a right. Not only streak. that, you're, you're an attorney. You're a mother of uh, twin boys. Uh-huh. And that must be a workout, too. It is a little bit of a workout. But there are times I hear, like, on New Year's Eve when you, when you celebrate. I just got to let it out, Regis, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do? I started this tradition about 10 years ago. What's that? Um, when the clock strikes midnight, I shed my clothes, except for my boots. Did you say you shed your clothes? I shed my clothes. In other words, you mean you take your clothes off. I get a little naked, yeah. <laughs> Night, and it's, it's dark and snowy in Michigan. So there's <laughs> <laughs> and I just do a lap around the outside of the house. Oh, and it's just <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. Okay. <laughs> All right, so look, let's get down to business here. You're eight questions away from winning $1 million. You've got a couple of lifelines. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at the, the categories you're going to be facing now as we continue the show. Okay. And of course, you still have phone a friend, and you may ask the expert as well. And today, our expert is CNN's senior political correspondent from her home just outside of Washington, D.C. Please say hello to Candy Crowley. Candy, how are you? I'm good, Regis. How are you? Oh, good. It's nice to have you here. Thank you. Candy, we had Wolf Blitzer on a couple of nights ago. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> and so uh, we'll come back during the show when she needs your help, okay? But thank you for joining us okay. very much. Let's play Billionaire. All right, 30 seconds on the clock. Here we go for $8,000. What is the correct French pronunciation of the restaurant <laughs> term that is spelled P-R-I-X? F-I-X-E. <laughs> is it prefix, prixfixe, prixfix, prefi? Can you say the first one again? Pre prefix. Okay. I'm going to say A, final answer, please. Yes, she got it for $8,000. Very, very good. We're going for 16000 Take a look, Angela. What celebrity nickname would most aptly apply to the author of the 1903 novel, The Call of the Wild? A-Rod, K-Fed, J-Lo, T-Mac. Oh, I think that was Jack London. Um... So take a look at all these names. Okay. I believe it's C, J-Lo, final answer. Yes, it was J-Lo for Jack London. <laughs> All right, now listen, you get this right, and you can't leave here with less than 25,000, nice. okay? Yes. So with 30 seconds on the clock, here it is for 25,000. If you walk due north from El Paso, Texas to Canada, which of these states would you not pass through on your journey? Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Colorado. Okay. I 
think I know, but I'm going to phone a friend, please. All right, fine. Then why don't we do that? Uh, who do you want to call? Let me see. You've got Linda, Rick, or Roger. Who would it be for this question? Linda, please. Want to call Linda? AT&T, we need Linda. Hello? Hello, Linda. Yes. Hi, I've got Angela Watt on the show here for Millionaire. Okay. And she's doing quite well. She's going for 25000 very important level for her. Yes. Hung up on a question and she needs your help, okay? All righty. All right, so you've got 30 seconds, Angela, and uh, your time starts right now. If you walk due north from El Paso, Texas to Canada. If you walk due north from El Paso, Texas to Canada. Which state would you not pass through? Which state would you not pass through? Montana. Montana. Idaho. Idaho. Wyoming. Wyoming. Colorado. Colorado. Five seconds. Five seconds. Wyoming. Wyoming. For sure? Yes. All right, just made it. All right, so she said uh, Wyoming, and uh, you've got 14 seconds on the clock. We're going to start the clock right now. Okay. I will, she said for sure, see Wyoming. Final answer. Oh, no, it was Idaho. Oh, oh it's gosh. Oh, well. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, Angela. Good luck to you. Thank really, you were terrific. Ah, too bad, huh? I really hate it when they lose. I had a feeling that she thought it was Idaho before her friend Linda convinced her to go with Wyoming, but they'll have to deal with that later. But now let's meet the 10 brand new contestants who have flown in from all across the country with dreams of making it right into the hot seat. And they are Jacob Shahey, Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Janelle Pluff, Flower Mound, Texas. Robin Brown, Bronx, New York. Michael Rooney, Sierra Madre, California. Liz Bollinger, Valrico, Florida. Kathy Hall, Longmont, Colorado. Randy Davis, Wichita, Kansas. Van Wilson, Brooklyn, New York. Scott Gardner, Ridge, New Hampshire. And Eddie Lawhorn, Huntsville, Alabama. Okay, they look like a fun-loving bunch and quite smart, too. Welcome, everybody. Good luck to you. All right, get those fingers ready now, because here's tonight's first fastest finger question. Put these celebrities in height order from tallest to shortest. Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise, Conan O'Brien, Danny DeVito. All right, here is the answer in the correct order, starting with the tallest. That would be Conan O'Brien, then Brad Pitt, then Tom Cruise, then Danny DeVito. That's the way they line up. Let's see who got it right. And in the fastest time, and the winner is... <laughs> Lieutenant Jacob Shahey from Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Nice to have you here. Thank you, sir. Boy, if you aren't the best looking ad for an Army officer, <laughs> look at you. Got a lot of medals there, including a bronze star. Yes, sir. You spent, uh, <laughs> just got back from Iraq, huh? That's correct. I'm getting ready to go again, sir. Really? Uh, how long will you have here in the States before you go back? I've been here about seven months, and I should be shipping out again early next year. Mm. So just about a year. And so you'll be going to? Afghanistan. Uh-huh. Your wife right behind you there. She looks very happy. Hi, Melinda. How Hi, you doing? I'm awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Honey. I bet it's a thrill to have him home, huh? It is. It's wonderful. Uh, where'd you get this good-looking guy? Anyway, how did this all start? High school. <laughs> High school? Yeah. No kidding. <laughs> How long have you been married? We've been married six and a half years. And you have some children? I have one child and another on the way. No kidding.
You haven't been gone that far from home, have you? It's all about priorities. Listen, we love having people in the service on our show. You know that. We respect you and we thank you very much for what you're doing. Now, as you know, 15 questions away from winning a million dollars and how we would love for you to win this, okay? You know about the rules, the clock, and the lifelines. And uh, remember, once you get to the $1,000 level, you'll get our expert Candy Crowley standing by down there in Washington to help us out. So, Lieutenant, are you ready? Let's play millionaire right now. 15 seconds on the clock. Here it is for $100. A swimsuit competition is traditionally a part of what annual event? Miss America pageant, Wimbledon, National Spelling Bee, State of the Union Undress. I say A, final answer. Miss A, Miss America, you're absolutely getting 100. $200. By definition, a vase is chiefly used as a container for what? Cigars, flowers, pencils, or books? B, flowers, final answer. Yes, sir, $200. Yeah. Here we go. 300 the chemical agent tear gas gets its name because it irritates what parts of the body? Don't I know. Would it be feet, elbows, eyes, or ears? C, eyes. Come on, you got that right, too. Eyes. The lieutenant is on a roll, going for 500. Celebra ducks, a brand of rubber duckies that look like celebrities, includes a ducky version of what movie icon? Holding nunchucks. Humphrey Bogart, Bruce Lee, James Dean, or Woody Allen? B, final answer. B, final answer, Bruce Lee. Yes, it's Bruce Lee. Wow, very good. Woo. The U.S. Army on the attack <laughs> cannot be stopped for $1,000. Take a look, Lieutenant. Gang of mini miners harbor young hottie from beauty-obsessed stalker is the rough plot of what classic Disney film? The Little Mermaid, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Lady and the Tramp, Sleeping Beauty. You go with B, final answer. Final answer, yes, it's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. All right, you made it to $1,000. You've earned the right to ask our expert, uh, should you need to. Andy Crowley standing by, as we've told you. Now we're going to go to 30 seconds on the clock, Lieutenant. And we start with the $2,000 question. Here it is. What common casino items are slangily known as one-armed bandits? Are they roulette wheels, dice, decks of cards, or slot machines? Say D, slot machines, final answer. And you're right for $2,000. How you feel? I feel. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm, I'm together. You're together. You sure are. Hanging in there. Okay, four thousand dollars. Ready? Yes, sir. Here it comes. The Beach Boys and Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch both had number one hit songs with what title? I get around. Help me, Rhonda. Wouldn't it be nice? Good vibrations. I'm going to pull the audience. Pull the audience. All right, good idea. Audience, here it comes now. The clock is stopped at 20 on your keypads. Please vote now. All right, here it comes. The audience voted, well, almost 60% for good vibrations. You have 20 seconds, and they start now. I'll trust them on this one. I'll go with D, final answer. And they were right. Yeah! yeah. celebration of millionaire we're here with a uh, terrific lieutenant u.s army uh, jacob shahey 
And if you think you at home can handle the pressure of the hot seat here, like this lieutenant, and deserve your shot at winning $1 million on the weekday version of our show, go to abc.com to get more information, all right? So here we are. Who advised you to take a shot at this game? My wife did. Really? Uh, yes. And what, 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 how did you handle that? It wasn't an invitation. It was, <laughs> yeah. it was a definite demand. And I followed my orders. And a boy. <laughs> So far, you're following them with honors, too. You've yes, used sir. just one lifeline, and you've got the three more to go. All right, so here we go again now, Jacob, all right? You have won $4,000. You're going for 8000 and you're eight questions away from winning the million. All set to go? Let's play millionaire. <laughs> 30 seconds up on the clock for the $8,000 mark. Here it is. Fittingly, which of these popular 20th century authors is buried in Tarzana, California? Edgar Rice Burroughs, Ray Bradbury, Dashiell Hammett, Arthur C. Clarke. Tarzana, California. Regis, I'm going to ask an expert. Are you? All right, fine. We'll go right down to uh, Candy Crowley, who is waiting for us down there in Washington. Candy? Yes, sir. We need your help here. We've got a young lieutenant here who is in the hot seat, needs your help for this particular question. And I'm going to feed you that question. So take a look at it right now, Candy. What do you think, Candy? Boy, I tell you. For all that you've done for us, I want to do this for you, Jacob, but this, uh, I just don't, I don't have any idea. This one really flummoxes me. Yeah. So, Candy, you want to take a pass on this? I, everything in me says C, but I have to tell you, that is such a gut feeling that I don't want Jacob to go on that. I just... Yeah, I'm, I'm a blank on this. I'm so no, sorry. No, that's okay, Candy. We, I know how you feel, believe me. And uh, we want you to thank you and stand by because you may be asked again. All right? Okay. All right, Candy. Now, what we have here is 15 <laughs> seconds left. You still have two lifelines. Or do you have any thoughts at all? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and phone a friend as well, then. All right, fine. Then why don't we do that? Uh, who do you want to call? Let me see. You've got uh, three names. And they are Wendy, Stephen, and Jefferson. I'm going to call Stephen. Stephen, all right, we'll get Stephen on the line, AT&T, please, and in a hurry, too. Who is Stephen? Stephen's my father. Oh, okay. Hello, this is Steve. Stephen, how are you? Regis Philbin here from Millionaire. Well, great to hear your voice. Nice to talk with you. We got your good-looking son here, and he's doing quite well. And we need your help, though. Excellent. All right, fine. So he's going to give you the question and the four possible answers. You've got 30 seconds to talk with your dad, and we'll see what goes on, and the clock starts now. Dad, one of these authors wrote Lord of the Apes and is buried in Tarzana, California. It's either Edgar Rice Burroughs, Ray Bradbury, Dashiell Hammett, or Arthur C. Clarke. you got about 15 seconds. Uh, I would guess Arthur C. Clarke. Read them again. Edgar Rice Burroughs, Ray Bradbury, Dashiell Hammett, or Arthur C. Clarke? Oh. That's um. it. Oh, well, that the sucks. time ran out. Now, look, here's what we got here. All the lifelines are gone except double dip. Or take your 4,000 and walk out. What would you like to do? You've got 11 seconds left. You want to, you want to do double dip? Oh, you want yeah, to... I'm going to double dip. All right, we're going to stop the clock right here. Now, here's what happens, Lieutenant. I need your answer right away, your first answer, and then you'll have about five, six seconds following that to give me your second one. So, shall we start right now? Which one do you want to pick? I'll guess D first, final answer. D is not the right answer, okay? Start the clock. Let's go. The clock is starting. We got one more. I'll guess A, final answer. Edgar Rice Burroughs to the right and yeah! second.
Ben and Fahey had a terrific beginning. He ran into a little tough luck on that last question, burned up all of his lifelines. But look, you're a member of the 101st Airborne, right? Yes. Now, we got to think. Show everybody the eagle. There it is, baby, right there. Now, we gotta, we got to plan this as a military operation, okay? <laughs> we don't have any help. But what we got to do is go behind the lines, parachute down, and attack that enemy. Right. Okay. Boy, oh, boy. I want you to know everybody here and everybody at home is pulling for you. Especially... Especially a woman back there in black and blue. She really wants you to win. Yes. So are you ready to go again? I'm ready. All right, let's do then it. let's play millionaire. Come on. So now he's going for 16,000 on a standard QWERTY keyboard. Which of these company names can be typed using only one row of letters? Would it be BMW, IBM, DHL or UPS? It is C, DHL. Final answer. Final answer? Got 16,000! <laughs> now we have parachuted down behind enemy lines. <laughs> now we've got to achieve one final objective. We've got to capture the next question. 25,000. Because if you get it right, you can't leave here with less than 25000 With that in mind, we go now for 25000 30 seconds on the clock. Here it is, Lieutenant. Which of the following is not one of the original 12 ailments in the Milton Bradley game operation? Would it be writer's cramp, tennis elbow, Adam's apple, or bread basket? It is B, Tennis Elbow, final answer. Yes, Tennis Elbow! <laughs> okay. Now, still out of lifelines. <laughs> still behind enemy lines. That's how we work best. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Now we're closing in on the headquarters of the enemy. We're going for 50,000 here. If you get it wrong, you'll leave with 25,000. That's, that's solid. And you're five away from the bid. Shall we go for it? Let's do it. Here it comes. 45 seconds up on the clock. Which of the following is a suffix that appears in the names of two U.S. state capitals. Two U.S. state capitals. Ville, Field, Hollis, Berg. Capitals. 15 seconds. I'm going to say. Free guess, really. Yeah. I'm going to say B field. Final answer. No, it's uh, Pollis. For 25,000 to you, Lieutenant. Thank you very much. Here it is. You went absolutely great. Good luck to you, okay? Great guy. The two capitals, of course, were Indianapolis, Indiana, and Annapolis, Maryland. But 25000 for such a deserving young guy. We were all rooting for him. So happy he got 25. We thank him very much. And now we still have nine great contestants who can't wait to play the next fastest finger question. And here it is. Put these dance crazes in the order they first became all the rage in the U.S., starting with the earliest. The Hustle, The Twist, The Achy Breaky Heart, The Moonwalk. All right, let's 
see the answer now in the correct order, starting with the earliest. And it was the twist, and then the hustle, and then the moonwalk, and then the achy, breaky heart. In that order, let's see who got it right. And in the fastest time, and the winner is Eddie Lowe. than seven seconds and you're from Alabama, huh? Yes, sir. And you just did a quite a dance to get up here. <laughs> All right. So tell me about yourself, Eddie. Tell me about yourself. Well, let's see. I'm 51 years old and recently unemployed. Uh, recently? Lost. How recently? Oh, like uh, Friday. No. Last week oh. ago. <laughs> you know, so many people who come here on this show are recently unemployed, happening just like that. Uh, what did you do? Well, I'm a computer software guy, uh, software testing, IVNV, all that sort of stuff sure. that nobody really understands. I usually tell folks that I'm a professional nerd. <laughs> that tends to get the point across. Nothing wrong with that. Why, does, why can't the nerd win a million dollars? <laughs> you bet he can. Okay, let's go for it, Eddie, all right? All right. You know what it is here. Fifteen questions away from the million. You know about the rules, the clock, the lifelines. Now you ready, Eddie? Yes, sir. Then let's play millionaire right now. Seconds on the clock, Eddie. Here it is for $100. By definition, pillow talk is a discussion between two people who are where, Eddie? At dinner, in bed, on a bus, on the set of Millionaire. <laughs> Be in bed, final answer. Yes, in bed, of course, Eddie. Eddie Lawhall going for $200. According to Wrigley, what brand of chewing gum has been the nation's top-selling cinnamon gum since 1987? Juicy Fruit, Double Mint, Big Red, Spearmint. Top selling cinnamon gum since 86. Big Red, final answer. See Big Red, final answer. Yes! Yes, Eddie. Good for you. $300. Which of these awards is presented by the International Academy of Digital Arts and Sciences to honor excellence on the Internet? Grammy, Webby, Emmy, Tony. Uh, B. Webby, final. Absolutely. You know that one, Eddie. 500. Which of these food names consists of two words that each happen to be the name of a prominent American university? Fava bean, maple syrup, pine nut, brown rice. D. Brown rice, final. Nailed it for 500. Okay. For $1,000, a crowd of people are running away from a bull on the cover of the 2008 Fodor's Guide to what country? Spain, Australia, Russia, Egypt. A, Spain, final answer. Yes, sir, for $1,000 in Spain. All right. Eddie Lola here from Alabama. We're going to take a break. We'll come back. He'll go for $2,000. Ten years of the Millionaire Show, we met them all. You know, some great American stories tonight. You met that young man who had just returned from Iraq and leaves soon for Afghanistan in service of his country. And here's Eddie Lawn, who just lost his job and then got the call from us to come and try it. And you know, that may be the best thing that's ever happened to you. It's true. You could win a million dollars here tonight. Yes. You know, I think you've got everything going for yourself, Eddie. You've got all your lifelines. You're up to $2,000 and 10 away from a million. This could be another great American story right here. All right. Okay? <laughs> oh, made it to 1000 and you've earned the right to ask our expert, Candy Crowley, one of the political experts on CNN, and is waiting for us in Washington for your call. But let's get back to it, Eddie. Let's play millionaire. <laughs> Thirty seconds on the clock. Here it is for 2000. Because it focuses on the relationship of its two male stars, which of these 2009 films was often labeled a bromance? Taken, Angels and Demons, 
Paul Blart, mall cop. I love you, man. Okay, I don't see a lot of movies, so I'm going to have to ask the audience. Want to ask the audience? That's, that's okay. That's good. Audience, we need your help for Eddie. On your keypads. Let's vote now. Eighty-eight percent said, "I love you, man." Is the name of that movie? Romance. Nineteen seconds. It begins right now. I love you, Regis. The final answer. <laughs> to think of it, I love the way you dance. <laughs> and you just won $2,000. Okay. Three lifelines going for $4,000. A device some people fear will accidentally create a black hole. The Large Hadron Collider is a what? A particle accelerator, a high-powered laser, a supercomputer, Gabby Ray Telescope. It's a particle accelerator, A final. Yes, it is. Good. Four thousand. Okay. Okay, Eddie, here it comes now for eight thousand dollars. What bad habit has the technical name Rhino Telexomania? Nail biting? Nose picking? Thumb-sucking, teeth-grinding. Uh, rhino is nose, so be nose-picking fine. Yes! Take the second, but you're right, Eddie. All right, seven away from the million, Eddie, huh? How are you feeling right now? Really Strong? good. Feeling good, sure, you look great. <laughs> and the wife, Kay, we haven't said hello to Hi, Kay, how are you? I'm doing great. Nice to have you up Thank here with you. Eddie. You must be excited right now, for thrilled yes, to Yes, very much, but stressed. <laughs> oh, you got the stress, yeah. How do you think I feel? <laughs> Eddie just told me he loves me, but anyway. <laughs> okay. You've got three lifelines left. You're seven away, and here it is for 16,000, Eddie. Because one of her rulings ended a 1995 strike, Supreme Court pick Sonia Sotomayor has been called the judge that saved what? Detroit, science, baseball, farmers. I 1995 that, strike. I think that was the baseball strike. So I'll go with C, baseball, final answer. It was baseball and he's right. Three lifelines left, going for 25,000 and six away from the big payoff. Here it is, Eddie. If you have three bills, each one of them features a different face from Mount Rushmore that appears on paper currency. How much money do you have? Study this one, Eddie. Each one featuring a different face from Mount Rushmore. Would it be eight dollars, seventeen dollars, thirty-five dollars, or eighty dollars? The Washington, Jefferson, and Lincoln. That's a one, two, and five. So a eight dollars. Final answer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's got it right. Boom. All right, Eddie. That's a crucial level. Twenty-five thousand. You can't leave here with less than that. You know that, all right? And you're five. Okay, we're going to go for 50,000 right now, Eddie. We're going to put 45 seconds up there on the clock. Here it is for 50 grand. Which of the following accurately describes the clothing Michael Jackson wears on the cover of his 1982 album, Thriller? Would it be white shirt, white jacket, black pants, white shirt, black jacket, black pants, black shirt, white jacket, white pants, Black shirt, black jacket, white pants. Let's ask, uh, phone a friend. All right, fine. Let's stop the clock right there at 29 seconds. Now, you want to call somebody? All right, let me tell you who uh, you have standing by to remind you. You've got Jonathan and Bob and Joey. Now, who do you think would know about Michael Jackson and that great album of so many years ago? That would be Joey. 
Joey is a music buff, is he? Uh, yeah, he's in All the right. entertainment. That's what we need here. AT&T, we want to get Joey on the line. Hello? Oh, hello, Joey. How are you? I am wonderful, thank you. Oh, that's good. So are we. Well, listen, we got Eddie here. Eddie Lawhorn, you know, and he's going wild. He's oh, going, excellent. He's going for 50000 We're kind of hung up on a question, and so he's calling you. Your 30 seconds starts now. Need an image of the cover of Michael Jackson's Thriller album. Need to know what he's wearing. It's like white shirt, white jacket, black pants, white shirt, black jacket, black pants, black shirt, white jacket, white pants, black shirt, black jacket, white pants. Can you repeat the question, please? Album cover of Thriller. What's he wearing? What? He's wearing a black shirt, a white jacket, and white pants. Is that one of the choices? Yes. 100% uh, sure. Go get it, Mike. That's what Joey said. Joey said he's 100% sure. So what do you think now, big boy? I'm going for C, final answer. He's going for C, final answer, and Joey was right. <laughs> right now because we have to get our celebrity out here but listen we want you to come back on sunday when we continue this okay all right but you've had a great great night with us thank you so much eddie thank you eddie lawhorn from alabama and when we come back the reigning dancing with the stars and the olympic team champion john johnson will be playing one question for fifty thousand dollars for her charity right back in a moment After 11 hard-fought weeks of competition, the winners and new champions of Dancing with the Stars are... Sean and Mark. What a big night for our celebrity guest who has had many big nights despite her young age. So please welcome Sean Johnson, everybody, our celebrity of the night. accomplished a lot, huh? Yeah. How old are you now? I'm only 17. Only 17? Yeah. Won how many Olympic medals? Four. Four? Yes. And tell me about those. Um, I won the balance beam gold. And how old were you then? I was 16. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, that was only last August. That's right, Can't yeah. It's already been a, right. a year. But um, we won the team silver, I won the all-around silver, and then the floor silver and beam gold. So. Wow. <laughs> Fabulous. Now, I suppose you, um, you train for practically all of your life for those awards, right? Yeah, I started when I was three years old and mm -hmm. trained to the Olympics. <laughs> Are you going to try again for uh, the next Olympics? I'm not sure yet. I'm still trying to decide. I mean, it's a huge commitment and a long time. Oh, but, I know it is. Sure it is. Uh, I'd love to. But in the meantime, you've surprised a lot of people with your dancing ability. I, who knew? <laughs> no, we didn't know. <laughs> no. I guess you didn't know either. I didn't know. No, 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 no. No, really. No, that's interesting. How much practice had you done before you entered such a competition? Zero. <laughs> You're not allowed to have any dancing background. But and you think all of the agility that you accomplished on, on the bar and all of those... Uh, but you're flipping. You're flipping around, yeah. Even I could do that. Yeah, I mean, it's easy. But dancing was so hard and so much fun. Well, it's so good to see you, you know, and you really good have done a lot. You're 17 years old and your whole life is ahead of you. Thank Should you. it be this exciting for the rest of your life? All right. What charity are we playing for today, uh, Sean? We are playing for Blank Children's Hospital. It's a Blank local, Children's Hospital. Yeah. yeah. It's a local children's hospital in my hometown. And, um, and the hometown is where? Uh, West Des Moines, Iowa. Blank Children's Hospital. All right. Well, you know, you, you'll get 25000 whether you get this right or not, but it'd be nice to get it right it'd be great. and leave with 50000 right? It'd be really great. All right, so. Sean. We're all pulling for you. Now, you get to choose any one of our four lifelines. You can phone a friend. You can ask the audience, you can double dip, or you can ask our expert, Ms. Crowley, who's waiting for you down there in Washington. So you understand all that? I do. Sure. Let's play Millionaire with Sean Johnson.
Here it is, Sean, for $50,000 for the Blank Children's Hospital in Iowa. In the cheeky holiday song, Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Which of these details is not revealed about Grandma? She drank too much eggnog. She lost her hearing aids. She wore a wig. She was on medication. Do you know this song? Um, yeah, I'm familiar with it. I don't think I know the lyrics. Which of these details is not revealed about Grandma? Well, think about the lyrics of those that you know to see if they pertain to any of these uh. answers. Hmm. Now, if you don't want to take a chance, you still have one lifeline you can pick. I think I'm going to go with the audience. All righty, the audience Hopefully pretty... you can help me. All right, they've been pretty good so far. So, Sean needs your help, everybody. On your keypads, vote now. All right, Sean, take a look. Well, 45% think it's she lost her hearing aids, and 31% said she was on medication. That's not the greatest percentage. No, it isn't. No? <laughs> it's not overwhelming. Not really. Well, did, would you remember any of these lyrics, and do they agree with anything the audience is saying? Um, I'll go, I'll go with the audience. I'll go with B. Go with B. Going to make that your final answer, Miss Judson? I can help me out here, Regis. I can't help you out. <laughs> I can't because I don't know! Okay, um, yeah. Uh, oh no. Well, all you got to say is final answer, Regis. Final answer, Regis? You just won $50,000! Thank you, Candy.